everyone and welcome to Reading with Mrs. Adams. I'm Mrs. Adams and today it's rhyme time. I have three books that I'm going to share with you today, boys and girls, that are filled with rhyming words. Now, words that rhyme sound the same at the end, like the words cat and hat. They both have the at rhyme at the end created by the vowel consonant blend at. So, the first book that I'm sharing with you today is called Down by the Bay, and it's actually a song. This is a Raffi Songs to Read book, and it's illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. I hope you have fun singing along with me, Down by the Bay. Down by the Bay, Raffi Songs to Read, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Raffi Songs to Read, Down by the Bay, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott, Dragonfly Books, New York. For Bill, N.W., Down by the Bay. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a goose kissing a moose? Down by the bay, down by the bay, Where the watermelons grow, Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a bear combing his hair? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see llamas eating their pajamas? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see an apple wearing a bapple? Did you ever see an orange eating a blouse? Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a run down by the bay? And that is the end of Down by the Bay, Raffi Songs to Read, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. The next book I have for you today, boys and girls, is a variation of a traditional nursery rhyme, and it's called Big Fat Hen. Be sure to listen for all the rhyming words. Big Fat Hen, illustrated by Keith Baker. Count to ten with Big Fat Hen, Hartcourt Incorporated. Big Fat Hen, illustrated by Keith Baker, Hartcourt Incorporated. One, two, Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shut the door. Five, six. Pick up sticks. Seven, eight. Lay them straight. Nine, ten. A big fat hen. And her friends. One, two, three. 
four, five, six. All their eggs. And all their chicks. And that is the end of Big Fat Hen, illustrated by Keith Baker. That was really fun. Now I'd like to read the book one more time, but this time we're going to practice doing some counting and listening for those rhyming words. So have fun with Big Fat Hen one more time, illustrated by Keith Baker. Big Fat Hen, illustrated by Keith Baker. Count to 10 with Big Fat Hen, Hartcourt Incorporated. Big Fat Hen, illustrated by Keith Baker, Harcourt Incorporated. One, two. How many dragonflies? One. How many eggs? One, two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. And the chicks hatched, and now they're buckling the shoe. It's an old fashioned shoe. Three, four. How many worms? One, two, three. How many eggs? One, two, three, four. Three, four. Shut the door. And that's what the chicks are doing. The four chicks are shutting the door. Five, six. How many snails? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. How many eggs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Pick up sticks. And now the chicks are all picking up the little sticks. Seven, eight. Oh, how many wasps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many eggs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Lay them straight. And there's the chicks. All the eight chicks are laying the sticks straight now. Nine, ten. How many butterflies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine butterflies. And now how many eggs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten. A big fat hen with all her chicks hatching. And her friends. One, two, three. Four, five, six. All their eggs. And all their chicks. And that is the end of Big Fat Hen, illustrated by Keith Baker. The final book I have for you today, boys and girls, is called Oh, A Hunting We Will Go. This is written by John Langstaff who actually extended the stories and created a lot more verses to this traditional folk song. And it's delightfully illustrated by Nancy Winslow Parker. The children in the story go hunting or pretend hunting for an animal and they put it in a special place. The name of the place rhymes with the animal's name. For example, they catch a fox and put him in a box. That's right. You also can participate by singing and clapping along. The clapping's pretty easy. It goes like this. So I'll sing, oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a fox and put him in a box and then we'll let him go. So have fun singing and clapping along with me to, oh, a hunting we will go. Oh, a hunting we will go. Written by John Langstaff, pictures by Nancy Winslow Parker.
Oh, a hunting we will go. Oh, a hunting we will go, written by John Langstaff, pictures by Nancy Winslow Parker, a Margaret K. McElderry book, Simon & Schuster, New York. For all the children who helped me make up extra verses for this folk song. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a fox. And put him in a box, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a lamb. And put him in a pram, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a goat. And put him in a boat, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a bear. And put him in underwear, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a whale. And put him in a pail, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a snake. And put him in a cake, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a mouse. And put him in a house, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a pig. And put him in a wig, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, we'll catch a skunk. And put him in a bunk, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch an armadillo. And put him in a pillow, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a fish. And put him in a dish, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a brontosaurus. And put him in a chorus, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll just pretend, and in the end, We'll always let them go. And that is the end of Oh, A Hunting We Will Go, written by John Langstaff. Pictures by Nancy Winslow Parker. Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls, for Rhyme Time. I really enjoyed reading and singing all the stories that were filled with rhyming words. And I hope you did too. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, you can do so. Just tap the word subscribe right there and touch the bell and you'll be notified of all the latest videos with stories and poems from Reading with Mrs. Adams. Be sure to like it or comment down below. Boys and girls, there's one truth I want you always to remember and that is that God loves you so much. So dare to dream the impossible because all things are possible with God. I love you. Until next time, goodbye.